Connecticut, what's going on? We are down here in New Haven in the secret lair, as I like to call it. Practice space, semi-studio of a band that I am super stoked to have on. It's a band called The Proud Flesh. Let's do a quick round robin, names and instruments. Justin Verga, I play the bass and the banjo sometimes. Uh, Alexander Burnett, I play the guitar and I sing. I'm Patrick Dalton, I also play the guitar, play trumpet as well. Uh, Chris Dickerson, I play the drums. <laughs> so there you go, guys. So the Proud Flesh, I have to say, uh, found through a blog that I like to frequent. And um, the first time I heard this band, I was nonetheless blown away. So there are very few bands I feel in Connecticut that are as tight as you guys are, as we're going to see in the performance that we're going to be showing very soon. Talk to me, though, about the sound of this band. Americana, alt country, folk, a little bit of indie rock, it's all in there. So where does where does the sound come from? Um <laughs> I think really if you uh I mean, if you pan the camera off off there, you'll see where a lot of the sound comes from. We have, you know, a, just a massive um addiction to vinyl and to listening to huge amounts of music. We always have music playing here. Um you know, lately we've been on a huge like Kinks kick to name to name one band. <laughs> um, one of the greatest and most underrated bands in the history of rock, by the way, is the Kinks. So thank you. We're in agreement there. Pat and I spent a lot of time um, hanging out in like folk punk collectives up in um, northern New England, and uh, but both listening to a lot of folk music and uh, hanging out at these punk rock collectives, kind of falling into a folk rock sort of scene, or what would become folk rock, I guess. A little something from every decade since the 40s, except for the 80s. <laughs> yeah, the 80s were a bastard decade. We'll skip that. The, the sound, though, of this band, I mean, there are other bands in Connecticut doing the whole Americana cowboy shirt thing. Do you guys, though, find a crowd for this type of music when you go out and play in the clubs? Is, is Do you have a following that comes out and see you guys? Is there is there room in the Connecticut music scene for this type of music? I'd certainly like to hope so. I mean, I do notice a lot of uh, repeating faces at a lot of our concerts um, when we do perform. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think there's room for every kind of music as long as it's good music. As long as you, you play from the heart and you, you write from the heart and you play as tight as you can, there's room for any good music. I also feel, feel like um, New Haven is a city that's that's really primed to have a scene really sort of explode. Um, there's, as, as I think Chris put it, um, it's you know there's there's a scene, but it doesn't really know what it what it is yet, what it wants to be, um, and so we'd like to have a hand in shaping that in, in what way we can, I guess. It is not a mistake that we have come down to New Haven about 75% of the time when we interview bands because the scene down here is amazing, as is New London as well. We want to give a shout out to New London. Let's talk about the new album you guys have out. It's called Tiny Picture Frames. I'm holding it right here in my hand. This is a fantastic album. You want to talk about how it was all put together, though, because it was a pretty interesting story behind it. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty interesting. It happened really organically. Um, seems kind of crazy now with the finished product in our hands. It was just, you know, Pat and I had had a lot of these songs kicking around and um, met Chris and, you know, formed a band and um, recorded this record just in, in our bedrooms and basements and living rooms. There was one living room in sp specifically in uh, Oxford that we did a good deal of the tracking at. <clears throat> but um, a lot of the production and the arrangements happened really organically as we were in the studio. It would just be like, you know, none of the, these songs had drum parts until Chris started playing. And so um, the arrangement for like dynamics was you know, really shaped by that. And then it all just kind of fell in, into place really naturally and organically. So as we mentioned, we're gonna go into a live performance right here in this living room off a song off of this album, Tiny Picture Frames, check it out. Thank you. 
Okay, what's going on? We are down here at Roller Magic in Waterbury, and I'm standing next to Girl Fox of the Connecticut Roller Girls. Why don't you tell the viewers out there why Roller Derby is awesome? Roller Derby is awesome because it is people hitting each other and being aggressive and amazing, and it's better than unicorns pooping rainbows. True story. And speaking of amazing and awesome, coming up after the break, we're going down to Red Squirrel Records in Wallingford to meet up with Iron Hand. Check it out.